there, I'm Lisa Doyle with J Rockliffe Realtors and East Bay Real Estate TV. Welcome to our House the Market segment. Today is Friday, May 20th, and I've got an, a little bit of a different twist to our update today. What I want to do is focus this mostly on investor. So, you know, how's the investor market update? But I'll give you some quick numbers that we normally cover each week as far as what's going on in our market. And then I've got a little bit of information I want to cover regarding investor questions. We deal with a lot of investor clients and uh, some questions that they often ask me about strategy. I wanted to share something that we've recently discovered. So right now, as far as our new update, we've got this last week, since last Friday, there have been 247 new properties that have hit the market. A little higher than our last couple of, of weeks, obviously, um, seasonally, there, there tends to be a little rise in inventory right now. 184 new pendings this last week. So our active inventory is, for the first time the last couple weeks, exceeding the pendings. So we're seeing you know, inventory growing a little bit more. Right now, totally on the market, um, the inventory has been higher this last you know, month or so than, than what we've had uh, previous months. But one, one interesting statistic that I was actually quite surprised about, as you know, you know, most of you probably know, you've been tracking our market updates for a while, the market is showing some signs of stability. You know, a little bit more pending properties per asking of what we saw the last year. But one number I ran is all the sales from the beginning of, of 2010 to the same time last year, 2010, we had 2,499 homes sold between January and May 20th of last year, 2010. This year so far, there's been 1,523 properties closed in the same area in our, in our greater East Bay from January till May 20th. So, you know, a little bit more actually sell volume, which is really surprising. Um, I think what we, the biggest difference of what we've seen this year versus last year is our, you know, economics 101, the supply and demand. We've just had less inventory. So the homes that do hit the market are, are much more stable as far as price range. But just an interesting statistic. And now what I want to show you is to focus on investor and our investor clients. People ask me all the time, okay, I want to invest in a piece of property. A, my first question is, can I get a positive cash flow? And B, where would I buy? You know, what's the best strategy? So I have two clients who just bought homes, rental properties, this last month, and we just put tenants in both of them. And they're two different areas, two different price categories. So this will give you a really good example of what's possible for today, and maybe what you would want to do as strategy if you want to buy an investment property. The first one I want to illustrate is a house out in Antioch. And people ask me all the time, you know, we are in the central East Bay, which is the 680 corridor, Danville, San Ramon, Walnut Creek, in this area, where East County, Antioch, should I buy a home in that area if I want to buy a great investment? We have a client who just purchased a property last month. It's a 2,400 square foot, four bedroom, very nice home in a great neighborhood out in Antioch. The property closed at 255. We just rented the property for 2,200. So if you look at the numbers, at a 4.875 interest rate with 25% down, your total payment is... Um, 1348 for principal, interest, taxes, and insurance, your entire payment. The rent, 2200 So obviously, at 25% down, he's got a very good positive cash flow. Even if you consider a couple hundred dollars a month for maintenance, um, he's in a really good positive cash flow shape. Where a lot of people think, okay, if you buy in an area, say San Ramon, when the market goes up, you've got a better chance at appreciation. So if that is your strategy, then the, then the other areas, say San Ramon, Danville, may be a good idea for you to invest in as well. But the one thing that you're going to see by this example, <clears throat> excuse me, is as you go up in sales price, the rental, the rental amount you receive per month doesn't adjust accordingly. For instance, there's a property on Fieldy Loop. I have a client who just bought the house again a month ago. The property sold for $548,000. It's a 22,000 uh, square foot, I think we're a three bedroom, two and a half bath. And again, he bought it for five hundred forty-eight thousand. Just closed in May. The rent on that in that area um, is twenty-seven fifty on average for his type of unit. He just rented his for twenty-eight hundred. So if you run the same numbers, you know, four point eight seven five, twenty-five percent down, his total um, payment on his property is twenty-eight hundred and sixteen, and he's receiving twenty-seven hundred and fifty dollars in rent. You know, in addition, the Fioli Loop's got a three hundred dollars per month association fee. So really, you know, he's buying the Fioli Loop property for the purpose of appreciation. We know in future years that the Central County, Danville, San Ramon, Walnut Creek may appreciate more, may not, but it may appreciate more um, on the upswing when he sells. So it depends on your long-term strategy. If you want positive cash flow, going in the outlying areas, 
definitely a better strategy for what we've seen. If you're looking for long-term appreciation in the idea that maybe you might want to move into the home someday or there's other reasons for the purchase, Central County, but you just wouldn't get the amount of rent for what you're spending on the, the purchase. So I hope that this answers some of your questions. As you know, we're bringing in updates every Friday. I've got an economist coming in next week to talk to us about what's going on economically in our area and how things are going to be shifting and changing and what they're looking at um, advice to us all in the future. But if you're looking at investing in property, boy, 4.875 interest, you know, that's one of the biggest reasons for a positive being possible today. So give me a call if you have questions. My name again is Lisa Doyle. My number is 925-890-7443. I look forward to seeing you soon.